He was sports. So uh, he he could have still been married and boss if he didn't with him. Okay, I mean that is for for Mr. Nangwe to tell as to yeah. as to what triggered that decision. But again, uh, it's 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 going to be a long conversation, uh, and I know a lot of folks out there uh, are eager to know exactly what what are those issues he's going to be he's going to be touching. It's going to be a a rough ball. Yeah, uh, the state of the CDC now, um, the different things that have been said about them, mm -hmm. you know, uh, as a former government, there are some terrible things said about them that they did, how they left the country, all of those things are going to be there. Uh, are they better off as an opposition now than they were before mm -hmm. 2017? Mm -hmm. uh, are there lessons learned? Uh, this is the first time he's going to speak since the defeat. He was quite upbeat the last time I spoke with him, two days before the election, that they were going to win, and they have lost. So uh, <laughs> he will, he will, he will have to uh, uh, tell us how it feels, and you know, going forward, what do we expect? But besides that, the issues of the economy, the issues of the civil service, um, the, 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 you know, all these things are just there. Okay, so basically, basically, there, there. I mean, th those are critical, critical areas that he would need to respond to, especially with this this claim and counter claim regarding the the status of the consolidated account. Uh, although the 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 GSC did 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 a piece of job, but again, there there is just this 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 conversation being held, uh, according to some folks within the ranks of the current administration, they are alleging that the CDC government left around nine million. Uh, into 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 our our consolidated account. Uh, they are blaming that for the uh, <laughs> the slow pace at which LC is is performing for them. Uh, they would have gone towards negotiating for the power from the CLSD line, but the former government left them with with little or nothing to to hope on. And so uh, these are allegations, like I said, that he will have to respond to because in the midst of an individual like Eugene, you know. To come out to the public and responding to these issues will keep 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 creating a lot of doubts, and so it is it is, it is an important thing that he will be here uh, to provide some answers if if if, if he has uh, to to some of these these issues. Yes, indeed, um, um, he's someone who's usually on time, so uh, we should expect that he should be anywhere around now. He's not maritime boss again. Probably packing, packing. Yeah, yeah. Downstairs. Yeah, yeah. He's not maritime boss again. I, I was rushing for a maritime meeting, even though he may have some private things on going. Uh, but, you know, there is a myriad of, of issues to talk about, and this is why we have an hour, 30 minutes to, to, to grill him mm -hmm. on these very important things. Um, the accusations and allegations are not going to go away. Oh, yeah? When administrations come to power, for them to have their footing right, it takes time and it is difficult. So they will have to blame you who left from there, how you left the country, and all those kinds of things as they try to find their footing. So you find those kinds of things happening, it is understandable. So it is their place now to come and say, oh no, this is it, or oh, yeah, this is it. Um, the issues of the security of the former president, uh, the, 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 the issues of asset recovery, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the issues of auditing of their government. Oh, yeah. you know, so it's a, a whole lot of important things. Uh, they are, the, the, the department of their legislators mm -hmm. up Capitol Hill, all of them. And, and so recently there was this, this, this rumor uh, regarding the status of their party headquarters. Uh, this is something they've, they've, they've criticized the unity party for, uh, you know, over over the period, and and so with with allegations or better still, Roman circulating that uh, the place is 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 under question. I will want to have Mr. Namri respond to it, uh, so that uh, his partisans and the rest of the people will know the status of Congo Town, uh, you know, opposite Lunsa, like the people will normally refer to it. Uh, so. There's going to be a lot more that he will respond to when he's in this identical seat, but it's, it's, it's going to be a wonderful, wonderful conversation. Yeah, I, I, I look forward to that. I don't cover the judiciary, and I'm quite careful when it comes to judicial matters, but I know I read 
something. The problem was at that point, I think our judicial reporter either was in town or something. So we may have missed out on what the actual story was. So it's important <laughs> for, for, for him to explain to the public what's the issue around uh, their headquarters. Is it leaving their hands or not? You know, very important because. <laughs> what, what, is, what, what is going to be a repeat of what? What happened to the current administration? I mean, leaving from uh, Conga Town uh, to Broad Street, uh, whether they're going to be leaving from Conga Town to somewhere else, uh, he's going to provide that, uh, that well, answer. Uh, yeah, uh, he, will, <laughs> he will be here, but my view about political parties as a whole is they will have to do better, all of them, than, than they've been doing. They, political parties should have their own places. They, they, they should not be renting from people. They should have their own land, have their own... A business, they, they should be able to do different things. Mm -hmm. uh, political parties should be able to have farms. They should be able to to, to, to to have things going that can keep up the base in terms of paying people that are working at the headquarters. Okay. It, it can always be from people's pockets. Mm -hmm. That's where innovation is required. Whether you're in opposition or you're in government, you should be able to have a place that is yours. You should be able to have things happening around that will prove to the country that when you come to power, you could do it better. Because even as an opposition party, this is what you've been able to do. And they, they have developed that place to a certain level. It is almost synonymous with them. Mm -hmm. So hearing those kinds of reports, quite troubling. And that's why it, it's going to be very important that you you know, want to respond to them. Because when you look at, you mentioned the, the level of development that they've done. There is a school already. The, the Monan Tech uh, mm -hmm. Vocational Institution, that is a, a giant size structure. Uh, you have several other units you know, built towards the, the, the B side. And so, I mean, there, there, there are folks who are wondering as to, they, they're kind of you know, saying, if, if this, this is not the CDC's headquarters, then why did the CDC go about you know, developing it to this level? And, 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 and that's, that's where a lot of folks are doubting as to whether uh, the information relative to uh, the place being in 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 question that that's why a lot of folks are not giving it giving it some form of uh, consideration. You know, considering the fact that the party was able to do a lot of investment, bulk of them are of the opinion that it would be so you know terrible on the part of the CDC to start investing in a, in, in in a place that you know that you do not own. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I'll be for yourself. So. Uh, he's, he's going to respond to it. Uh, this issue of asset recovery, I, I'm, I'm sure, is going to be one of the issues. Uh, the, the, the Secretary General of the CDC spoke recently uh, where he mentioned uh, that, that, that the CDC you know, would take some, some, some serious measures against this whole asset recovery situation. So I want to know, as Chairman on the Strategic Committee, what's going to be the CDC's approach towards asset recovery? Are they going to be submitting themselves to the process? Are they going to be putting up uh, resistance? Will they comply with uh, the asset recovery team? Do they have anything to hide, you know, <laughs> from the Liberian people after serving the people of this country for six years? So those are questions, I mean, yeah, Minister Nangwe. Once a minister, always a minister. Mm -hmm. Minister Nangwe will have, to, will have to, you know, respond to. But like you, you, you're in tune from the onset, uh, it is becoming very unusual that... Uh, <laughs> Uh, the Eugene language that we know will not be here uh, up to this time. He's he's about nine minutes late, and and and, and so we hope we hope all is all is moving moving on course. Yeah, I should expect that uh, he should be around because he had confirmed this morning mm -hmm. uh, his appearance yet. So, yeah, uh, we are right here uh, uh, anticipating this big interview with Mr. Nango. Okay. All right, so folks, uh, that's that's what it is. This is Freedom Hub, our special. It will also be good to hear how he left uh, Maritime. How he left Maritime? Yeah. Uh, I mean, the state. Okay. In which he left. Mm -hmm. And secondly, why why did he choose to to stay up to the expiration of his tenure? Because he resigned. Mm -hmm. One would have thought that, in as much as you have a constitutional. Uh, you know, time frame uh, that you're supposed to serve, you have an unaspired tenure, one, one would have thought that he would live up to the expiration of that tenure. So, leaving so early, this is very unusual. Liberians are noted for holding on till the last minute. So, to want to have one or two years remaining in your tenure and you're saying, no, you know what, I want to call it a quick, you know, I mean, 
there should be a motivation behind that. Mm -hmm. Apparently, you have to tell us exactly why such a decision was taken. Sure. Yeah. But again, we've got to take a break. We 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 got to take a break. Uh, there is this leak audio. Uh, did you listen to it? Yeah, I've been listening. To it. Okay, there is this leak audio. Uh, we we. I'm not surprised. You're not surprised. Uh, you're not surprised of uh, Senator Johnson's. But, but this is one of the most erratic politicians in Liberia okay. history. He's, uh, uh, he's, he's, he's everything that it is. So I don't feel sorry for him. I'm not surprised. That's it. No, but we, we've not reached the point where you, 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 you're going to be expressing whether you're sorry for him or, or not. <laughs> but I, I, I mean, the, 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 the whole thing is I'm not surprised. Okay. Uh, and, and, and you're equally not sorry for him. I'm not. It, it would be a surprise if if he didn't say those things. So some, somebody is saying somebody is saying you're saying it because you think uh, Kama has located Senator Johnson. No, well, that's the reality of life. If you know, you you can always get or you can always get away. And maybe he could get his way again. You know, you just that's him. He knows how to do what he does. So that's it for me. It is. Never a surprise. Never ever. Okay. It it, 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 it is possible he could recant all those words again and go right back over what he said he wasn't going to do. Okay, so so <laughs> technically <laughs> the senator is unpredictable. Yeah. Okay, let's listen to to Senator Johnson while we try to establish contact with the uh the guests. Uh, I just hope he's not up to another national executive committee meeting. Let's take this break to be right back. I'm sorry for who. Who is a potential leader to see? So they're blocking him. They put him. They took all the ministries, all the public corporations, and they gave empty out of one ministry labor. Going inside to put him all over the place, even without asking me, said, "Papa, give us, give me four percent to do here." No, he's not doing. He's not doing that. Should remain respectful to you, you, you can push him. 
But, but, but he's very very respectful. He can take airway with you every time. I use I need to listen to him. Yeah, that's why we're not supporting you that way. The why you are trying to come with the instrument in place. Yeah, maybe you know it. Mm-hmm. So to to seduce you politically. To seduce me, yeah. So seduce me, so they will not come. Believe me. Don't so, don't don't make that decision. You know, it'll it'll get sold you the with the glass low. No. having his own candidate in the race uh, for the senatorial by elections in Nimba against Nyan Toa who has been projected by the Unity Party. <laughs> Is this... Can we there seem to have been a gentleman agreement uh, after the first one. Mm -hmm. uh, Nyan's support was also conditioned upon that, that if he won, uh, they will all support him mm -hmm. for the senatorial race. Okay. That is what he said, the vice president. Mm -hmm. so, uh, that is anticipation, but Senator Johnson has proven to be able to always deliver at the crucial moments. Okay. In, in so uh, that's a thing to watch out for. Okay. Because Koga has the ability of pulling some numbers. Nyan can Nyan prove that he can pull numbers too, but no one can match Prince Johnson's prowess in Nimba in terms of. Uh, when these kinds of crucial things, he knows how to play the politics. He will put the world camps, go all, all there, he will go all into those towns and villages and make that the, the major campaign issue. So, you think Ian, Ian, Ian is not going to be having you know, a good footing? Well, I, I think they should not make the CDC his error. Let them call him in. Okay. Not to feel his own I, 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 I know our guests will disagree with you. Well, the hell? It, is, it is up to you. Okay. So we, <laughs> but I, I, I don't, I don't think this is part of the reason we call you. This is just our chip chat. So he, he will not speak on this. Okay. <laughs> okay. So folks, folks, we, we, will now go to Studio B where uh, Honorable Nangwe is. Uh, Honorable Nangwe, you, you are, you are about 19, 19 plus minutes late. Strange. Very strange. I miss the. It's my first time here, and I got, I got lost. Uh, okay. uh, my apologies to you and to uh, the listening public. Okay. All right, so folks, uh, we, we now have in studio the Honorable Eugene Nambuya. Uh, Julius, prior to his arrival, we're kind of contemplating as to how to address him. Commissioner Nambuya, Minister Nambuya, no. uh, Chairman Nambuya. Uh, uh, just my name is sufficient. Okay. Just, just Eugene Nambuya is, is sufficient. How are you? Well, I'm great. I'm doing fine, and I'm very pleased and happy. Can party chairman? No, 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 no. Okay. Not at all. We, have, we, we have an acting chair person okay. yeah, whom acting, acting, I support acting. and 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 who will continue to lead our very great party to higher heights. He has all of us fully support, so there's no distraction regarding that. There will be an election, though, so... 
yes, at some point in the future, mm -hmm. and I'm not considering okay. or in consideration of the chairmanship. Following the inauguration, uh, did you follow the president out of the country? <laughs> I, I would choose my own words. I traveled with the president okay. after the inauguration to Accra and then subsequently to Italy mm -hmm. and uh, a couple of other European cities. So, Where you were catching the birds, where he was, uh, yeah. uh, did you do some of that? No, I didn't, and when he was doing it, I wasn't there, I had gone to another city. But that's the tradition in Milan. Okay, uh, at the square. for people to catch birds? At the square, you, whatever you want to do, but the birds are there, you engage them in the eye of them, and then it's a sign of, uh, because it the, 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 the shows liberation of of an individual, they are liberated birds. Okay. They live on their own, but so most tourists. It shows liberation. Yes, and also remember, you know that Mr. President lived in Milan for quite a while. Okay. So he's quite aware of the traditions in Milan. So yeah. he just performed one of the the rituals. So the the reason I ask that question is because some of these idiosyncrasies of the president are some of the reasons people just felt. Well, he wasn't taking the presidency seriously. So it's like he felt relieved that finally he has really left this thing. It is not for him. Uh, he wants to be a free guy, just you know, just doing random things and feeling happy and all of that. So it was yeah, okay for him. It, was, it has always been okay for him because uh, for former President Weir, life itself has to be taken at a pace, okay. you know, and he took that to the presidency the ultimate objective is to deliver for the people show them love do what within your own powers you can do to improve their lives and their livelihoods that is it you know so for him the presidency was not a, a place to utilize for for personal aggrandizement mm -hmm. or a place to promote himself because he he was already a well-known local, national, and international person. Okay. So for, for when people say, oh, he didn't take it serious, he took his job seriously, mm -hmm. and the fruit of his commitment to work is there for all to see. Okay. B before the, the trip to Milan, Liberians were kind of, you know, surprised. And this is not only a Liberian situation, the entire Africa and the war over. When he placed that call to the former Vice President Biden, you know, the current president, conceding. How did that decision come about? But perhaps people didn't follow uh, Mr. Weir very closely because okay. he over and over again had said that he would accept whatever the results of the elections are as pronounced by NEC. Okay. And, and In this situation, NEC did not pronounce any election no, results? No, they, they, they had been pronouncing uh, step by step. Okay. So, and in addition to that, we too have our own information. So based on what, you know, and I, I have to say this, apart from the, the, the Nima County anomaly, you know, mm -hmm. which, you know, is something that, you know, based on his, his uh, peaceful nature, said, look, we cannot, we cannot challenge our own government's National Elections Commission. But there were many cases, I as a the campaign manager that I saw, mm -hmm. where there were more people voting in places in Nima than register and all of that. But he said, look, we organized the elections okay. because we were the government mm -hmm. and whatever happened in Nima, there was a total anomaly. Okay. It's unimportant. We go by what NEC has announced. And up to the point that they made those announcements, mm -hmm. and up to the point that we did our calculation, which included all of the, the 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 parameters, all of the calculations, there was no way that we could have won the election. We could have gotten the number mm -hmm. to be announced by NEC. Okay. So Mr. President, as a fair player, you know he was once voted. People talk about him being the World Player of the Year, mm -hmm. but he was also voted as the World Fair Player of the of, of the Year. But I want a football now. No, I mean, listen, now, so. It's, your life is what makes you. Okay. He's he's a competitor, a very strong competitor. But when he, whenever he realizes that he hasn't won or the the game is not in his favor, 
you can see as the, the, the mark of a good leader, the mark of a true statement. Statesman. Okay. So therefore, he said, why do we waste time? Let me place a call to uh, 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 Mr. Boakai and concede. Okay. So that was the basis for that. Okay. I, I, because I, mathematically, uh -huh. it was impossible with the rest of the results for 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 the CDC to secure a, a victory. Okay. And like he said in his concession speech, uh -huh. it was a victory for Liberia. Victory for Liberia. Yes. Now, as chairman of the campaign, at that moment, how were you fearing? You know, was this a situation that led you to having some sort of reflection that, hey, I have failed the, the president. He gave me a particular piece of job to manage his campaign, to chair his campaign. We are at the level where he's conceding, you know, to his opponent. Did you consider that a failure? No, because if the president in his concession said that it's a win for Liberia, then that's also a win for me. You are not, you are not appointed to be chairman for Liberia. You are appointed to make sure that CDC won the elections. Yes, uh -huh. that was the objective. Uh -huh. And like I said to you earlier, Mr. President is a spokesman. Okay. You know, so you go to a game and your plan is to win and go to the finals or win the finals and win the trophy. Mm -hmm. The fact that uh, there's no win doesn't mean that the coach did not coach well. All the players did not play well. So there are times that you win, there are times that you lose. Okay. So this was one of the cases. And like I said to you, that I, I in spite of the the concession, mm -hmm. you know, I keep saying, when I mention the Nima anomaly, mm -hmm. I mean that there were incidents and accidents and issues. But those were not as important to him as the general good of the country. And this is why he plays the call. Well, so, and, and, and before that, during that, and subsequent to that, he has always thanked me for the hard work that I've done. So, for me personally, I think he appreciated my work. He saw the work. I visited each and every district, almost all of the zones in the country. We projected what the president had done for the country, the former president they, they, then, they, had done for the country and what he will do later. But in the end, the results show that by a difference of about 17,000 votes, another person was chosen. And that's the hallmark of democracy. So because we the last move time on. I spoke with you was the Sunday before the second round elections, yeah. and you were quite upbeat. You yeah. really did not see uh, this 1 0 defeat coming. And it, it, is, it, is, it, is, it is the worst defeat. It, it, it really hurts people. And I can tell that you were hurt because for a long time you were, you were not active on social media. I really don't remember you saying anything about the elections after war. Were you yeah. one of those, according to reports, uh, were angry with the president for the early concession and all of that? Partisans no, were angry, you could tell? N never. Perhaps angry is not the proper word. They were disappointed. They knew how much work they put in mm -hmm. and they did not expect the results. And, and I can still see that uh, if you actually look at the results, look at what happened. You know, the performance was great, you know, but an incumbent, you know, because in Liberia, <coughs> somebody doesn't have school fees to pay for the child, they blame the incumbency. Somebody doesn't have money to bury their, their father, their mother, they blame. So it was, it was an uphill battle. The advantage of incumbency was, it does not exist in a free and fair process because, and particularly in, a, in, in an environment where you are the ones left with the mental authority to solve all of the problems. So, hmm. and we were very truthful to our citizens, but maybe some of them wanted more, wanted more promises, and this is why I think we should discuss. You were all of the All of the promises that were made, uh -huh. that even as we speak now, uh -huh. that the disappointment has come so early, that the honeymoon has ended so quickly, because well, we, we, will, we, we, were, will, we were, we were, we were, we will come to that. But let me, yeah, let, but, let, but me listen, let me take you back. That, see, no. We always have this discussion. Yeah. When you ask me a question, mm -hmm. I have to choose my answer. Yeah, you can't choose a question and the answer no, at the I, same time. I'm not, I'm not trying to choose the answer. <laughs> and my but, answer but, but, is that. But, but is you that, are trying to go into a terrain that, 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 that we are but, eventually. Uh, yeah, going but to I, I can't so, read your mind, but I have the opportunity now mm -hmm. to state what I know and mm -hmm. what the reality. If that you resign, you you still have some years. I I I, I understand on your I'm on your contract I'm with the government. Yeah. So why did you resign, and and what is the health of the entity? Firstly, 
the perhaps you should because one of the first interviews I did when I became commissioner of the Library of Maritime Authority was with you, uh, mm -hmm. Julius. And I said I have some targets. Now, as the journalist, you have to scrutinize whether I met the targets. Some of the targets included bringing Liberia back to number one position as mm. the number one registry, mm -hmm. the number one flag state in the world, to put us back on as an executive council member of the IMO, mm -hmm. to increase the amount of uh, ships we have on our, our, our ambit, and to carry out a lot of improvements. But for me, particularly, you know, when you, you step aside, the reason I step aside is very simple. I did not want to work under this current government Why? as a member because I have a lot of role to play. If I was still Commissioner of Maritime, would I be here speaking on behalf of former President Weir and the CDC? So I took a conscious decision. So you took politics over country? No, I took country over politics. No. You had a job to do for the country at Maritime, but you you, but, you, 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 you choose to let that no, slide when, when, because when you want to work for a no, political party. No, when you say that I want to work for the enhancement of democracy in Liberia, which is even more critical than being a commissioner of maritime of the Lab commissioner of the Liberia Maritime Authority, because for democracy to get strengthened, mm -hmm. we have to have a strong opposition. And I believe I can play a very critical role in the opposition under the ambit of the CDC. So I made a choice. Let me say this. Mm -hmm. In addition to that, I I I, I did how I. I don't believe in the, 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 the political philosophy, the agenda of the Unity Party. How will I be a part of, of philosophy to contribute or promote a philosophy that I do not believe in? It would have been a contradiction. So I had to step away to allow Mr. Barker to appoint somebody mm -hmm. who he believes can promote his agenda. Okay. Meanwhile, I want to promote the agenda of the CDC in opposition outside of the ambit of the government. And this is what I've done. The health of the entity. The, the, to promote the health of which entity? Ma maritime. Ah. What was the condition, the health but, condition you left but, with? But I, I want to stay away from talking about maritime because for me, when you resign from a position, mm -hmm. you allow the new person to take the helm wherever you stop. It's not, it's not a secret. Were, there, were, there were turnover notes? Yes. Mm -hmm. I so. think, I think, uh, about 3,000 pages. 3,000 pages? Totally, of okay. what I turned over. Because there were a lot of activities that happened. You know, year-to-year -year, uh, 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 reports, mm -hmm. our annual reports, the activities we have carried out, mm -hmm. we packaged them and I turned over to the to the, the officer in charge, who, and I believe he will turn it over to the new commissioner. But it's for me, you know, we left Maritime where it is, and I hope that the new commissioner can take it to another level. Okay. Yeah. Let us come into uh, the issues of the day. We left it at number one. We left it at council. And I still believe that we can go further. Okay. Yeah, so I hope the new commissioner can achieve greater good for the country. Now, uh, uh, President, we have made quite, former President, we have made quite a statement uh, before exiting power about losing some 40 plus million dollars in the Balala. in the consolidated account. A, a GSC audit says uh, if they added all, all of the bonus in the transitory, it was more than 40, but uh, that, that, that figure was highly encumbered. Meaning, if they did all of their math, it was by far less than what Mr. Weir said. No, 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 no. GAC didn't say that to you. The GAC audit admit, confirm, in fact, more than confirm what President Weir said. He said he had left 40 plus. They confirmed that that was the amount in the account. Mm -hmm. When you say encumbrances, it means there's, there's uh, uh, liabilities. Yeah. But don't we have liabilities now? There will always be liabilities for government. President Weir did not say that this government has no liabilities. He said, this is what I left. Use it to settle liabilities. So, you know, if people want to politicize the, the facts, the actualities, mm -hmm. because did the GSC already say that there was no for the three point whatever million in the account? 
the GAC confirm what he said. He didn't say that Labre has no encumbrances. Labre owes nobody. So even now, as we speak, after President Weah left, the new government could decide not to pay if they had reasons to say they don't want to pay. And let us not forget that President Weah inherited the country from a previous United Party government. Mm -hmm. And while he left 40 plus million, he inherited 7 million with more encumbrances. Okay. Since I will choose your own word, mm -hmm. more encumbrances. Mm -hmm. Then he left. The, 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 the balance, our foreign reserve in the central bank was around 90 million. He left over 200. And 30 million. That's the facts. You can argue with, with, well, the, the, with the facts. I think the the, the, <laughs> the, 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 the critical difference here is it, it is not just debt that the country owes, it is that uh, in professional reportage yeah. of financial matters, mm -hmm. as, uh, uh, experts say, mm -hmm. Mr. Weir shouldn't have been told that figure be because there were these vouchers or checks whatever they, they are called that were already on to that account. It's like you, mm -hmm. Mr. Nambe, having $50 with me. Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to give kind 30 and give this man five and give her five. But, but you know the interesting thing? The 50 and 30, no, they, they, they didn't give it yet. Mm -hmm. At the time. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because upon assumption of office, President Barker had the right to say, I will not honor the checks. But he, he did he, did he honor them? What we see, the president wanted the country and the world to know that he left in the account money, cash, mm -hmm. 40 plus million. Mm -hmm. He did not say that the government is owing nothing. Governments will always owe. There will always be encumbrances. When he took over, he met 7 million in the account. When he left, he left over 40 million and over 200 million in our foreign reserve that was built up because of the changes he made in our our, our 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 monetary policy and our monetary authority. The changes he made at the central bank, no no borrowings recklessly, keeping up with the IMF uh, requirements, mm -hmm. all of those things allow our foreign reserve from not the one around that, I, I don't memorize figures, but around 90 to 91 million to over 225, 30, 40 million in our foreign reserve. That, those things are facts. But the, 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 the voodoo uh, 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 mechanics try to change it. Oh, the government, oh, when President Weah took over, he met 7 million. The first encumbrance that was on that 7 million was 9 million for the CLSG. So what should we have said? That we made minus two million. No, he didn't do that. The government paid on the CLSG. Okay. Hard checks hanging. So the reality is that the GAC audit found that what President Weah said was true uh -huh. because he said I left over 40 million in the account. The king they say, yeah, 40 million there, but you're owe the person, you're owe that person. Yes, governments will always owe. But I left money there for you to pay what we owe. Oh, what you are saying? Now, one of the other critical issues is the civil service. Mm -hmm. uh, um, 67 plus thousand uh, civil servants mm -hmm. and, and uh, <laughs> like 17 plus or between 13 to 17 thousand that you added to the civil service from, from, from what President Surly left. Uh, we, we're not very sure what the current government is going to do with that. But, but me, I'm sure. Yeah, you're not sure. Don't say we. Are, Talk for yourself. When I say we, we the media people, yeah, okay, you know, yeah, but, I'm yeah, not I talking know. for you. Yeah. You are a politician. Yeah, but now, don't say we're not sure. Now, so, I'm but, sure what they'll do. Now, so, they will increase them so, more. Well, <laughs> but, but before, before listening to the new CSA boss talk about streamlining, mm -hmm. you, you, you know, uh, 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 government know and, 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 and making things more effective <laughs> and what he meant in the CSA account Listen. and all these kinds of things. You know, for First me, of all, it is being thought that your government brought too much problems to this country. You were just piling no, up payrolls, no. placing people places okay, that they should not have been. You were, you were there giving double jobs to the same people to do the same thing. People go to work, you're not doing anything. There you go. You see, the facts are very stubborn. Okay. There's a 
we don't have a budget now in Liberia. There we, is we're, a draft budget. But draft and not budget. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Draft is a budget that is it's a plan to do a budget. Mm -hmm. It's not a budget. Mm -hmm. So when I categorically say we don't have a budget, that's true. Mm -hmm. Since January twenty uh, second, we left up of, of, of the 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 outgoing government left a platform budget. Now let me say a few things. Do you know that there has been an increase of around sixty seven million dollars to what was proposed by the outgoing government? To what has been reproposed by this new government, and it doesn't capture increment in civil service salaries. This new budget, mm -hmm. the same people that said the harmonization that we did was wrong, they maintaining the harmonization, the harmonized pay, and they are increasing top officials' pay. Mm -hmm. Sixty-seven million difference in what? President, we are proposed in keeping with law and what they are proposing. But they have increased. You, know what? I, you, you guys have to give me a chance because yeah, mm -hmm. I, I want to be very clear. Mm -hmm. Because Julia said mm -hmm. a few things that I have to you know, clarify for the public. Sure. There has been an increase of 67 million thereabouts, 67 million plus, some, some change mm -hmm. in, our, in the new proposed budget. Mm -hmm. but it's not a budget yet. Mm -hmm. because. We, 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 we it's going to be scrutinized in many ways, but of that 67 million, most of it is about increase in political appointments. How um, to pay them? Already, if you look at the appointments that President Waka is making, most of them are positions that the CDC government did not appoint people to, why? or that were non-existent. Okay, he recreating it, and he, some of it he's using his presidential power. For example, at the Ministry of State, under the law, the president can hire five million ministers of state. So he's using his presidential power. It costs money. So this new 67 million is not for civil service salary. Mm -hmm. It's not to ensure that uh, our city gets clean. It's not to ensure that we have uh, better services. But it's to ensure that he pay his political cronies who he is appointing day to day. So if you talk about CDC appointed people, CDC appointed people at the lower level, increase the police, increase the amount of nurses we have in hospitals, increase the amount of teachers. But if you are appointing political appointees, more assistant ministers, more deputy ministers, who is doing it right? So the 67 million is to pay the cronies. You know, so if you look at the, the hallelujah budget that was submitted, a, a few days ago, mm -hmm. by the Minister of Finance, it, it it is disappointing because the CDC will do a comprehensive reaction to the budget. It is, it is off the cuff, I yeah. can tell you, mm -hmm. one of the things they said that GDP will increase from from will increase by from from uh, 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 up to four point nine million, mm -hmm. uh, up to four point nine percent mm -hmm. from the previous year, but. This is the first budget I, I have seen where the Minister of Finance presents a budget and says GDP will grow without showing the underlying factors that will enable GDP growth. But, but, the last budget that Mr. Tue ran, mm -hmm. the, mini the former Minister of Finance, mm -hmm. he said GDP will grow and he showed the underlying factors. There will be growth in mining, there will be growth in agriculture. Mm -hmm. This is how economists present a budget. So apparently, but apparently, apparently the, the hallelujah budget doesn't say nothing. It just says we're going to... Why are you referring to it as hallelujah budget? I think the, the Minister of Finance, we know, he had devotion and he imagined what to put in the budget. Because there is no base. But, 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 but you, you, no, I saw, I've seen the budget. You just admit it. No, you, but you, you, I, you, I'm no, telling I, you. I, I, I am, I am going to fact check some people, those claims some, because I also some, have the draft budget. We yes. will, 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 will try to the, unpack. The, the draft budget said there will be growth mm -hmm. in 2025 mm -hmm. and the growth will, will be stable. The same amount of growth in 2025 will continue in 2026. Okay. It's in the budget. Mm -hmm. so, so And then he says nothing about how that growth will be achieved but you just admitted that, that former minister Twe went to the very legislature when he submitted the and, and he explained so, so, how so, the budget so, how the growth will be achieved so, he said there will be growth in agriculture and he detailed 
What will happen in agriculture? So, in rubber? What will happen in mining? That's how a budget is done. But for somebody to just write and say, oh, there will be a growth in GDP without any any underlining any 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 underlining factor. Apparently, that's what we call a hallelujah budget. I call it that God because I think that it, it's, it's maybe the Holy Spirit spoke to him and said that ready there. Because there is no derivative. Nothing to say that well, when we do one, two, the, three. The, sometimes the spiritual things are much better because God, God is the one that knows all. Yeah, but do you know what God does? God allows you to speak the truth. He says, so apparently God spoke to twelve, but they didn't speak to the new one. Because he said, mining will increase. Mm -hmm. It did increase and mm -hmm. we achieved the target. He said, agriculture, with all that's happening in the, in the rubber industry, all that's happening in cocoa and coffee, it will help your GDP. And this is what all that's happening in domestic revenue collection, it will increase your GDP. Mm -hmm. So because as, when you are doing a budget, uh -huh. you have to, if you say, I will get one out of you gotta show how you're getting one out. So, so this is this is where you're not being. But the new budget, Mr. Nangwe, the, the Hallelujah budget Mr. says nothing about that. Mr. Nangwe, it just puts figure. Mr. Nangwe, I mean, your final minister, Minister Twer, submitted a turnover note to the new administration. <laughs> yeah, the turn one note. I want to show you how to do your so, job. So, don't you? Don't, it to show you what has happened. No, don't you think? Don't and you think, to help guide you. If you don't follow it, the new, the former minister can make you follow it. You, 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 you just said Minister Toy gave series of, you know, uh, uh, no. I mean, indicators for that, his, that, for his budget, for his budget. Yes. Uh, fine. And and and, 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 and a projection. So those projections were made based on the mining sector in different different sectors. So, but he was minister. So don't you think Minister Kamara too went through the the the, the no, but the, it's the when you when you to, when to, you, to, to have made all listen, the projections he's the making. President Barker took over in January. Mm -hmm. Since January, we still don't have a budget. They finally presented a budget to a few members of the legislature because under our open budget policy, but now mm -hmm. the budget is supposed to be, Julia is supposed to be able to Google and see the budget. Is it there? Is it online? It's not, it's not available. But what we have seen that he presented the, the, the hard copy, not an electronic copy, there are legislators who have not even seen the draft budget. It was submitted to the speaker, so it is. It is. It is upon. No, 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 no. That's well, 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 a this is, I, I, I am in the <laughs> the first cut year twenty twenty four draft budget fact mm -hmm. sheet. Mm -hmm. It says macroeconomic outlook. Yeah. Real GDP is projected to expand by five point three percent in twenty twenty four, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and in by an average six point zero percent in the medium term twenty twenty four to twenty twenty six. This is against the backdrop of strong growth of four point six percent experienced in twenty twenty three. Oh. But when I, you see, that, you see that, 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 that thing you read there is very embarrassing. You got to show, you say it will expand. Mm -hmm. So the growth from the past, mm -hmm. you have to show, as an economist, you have to show what are the, because you can have growth in one uh, calendar year mm -hmm. and that growth will, will die. So when you are saying that the, I will, the growth will increase by five point whatever percent. Mm -hmm. You have to show what are the propelling factors so that see, will lead to the so new growth. I, I, I think I think it is here. Macroeconomic assumptions. <laughs> it, it, it says macroeconomic condition is expected to remain favorable with real GDP growth, <laughs> averaging around five point six percent over the next three years. What will prepare the growth? Uh, export is projected to rise due to anticipated increase in major commodities outturn in all major sectors of the economy. Imports expected to increase as economic activity moves. No, no, no. It, 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 <laughs> government revenue is projected to increase given the expected rise in primary commodity export. Government expenditure is projected to rise because of capital expenditure and the need for improved service delivery. Inflation is expected to be moderate but remain in single digits and medium term exchange rates expected to remain stable. So maybe these, uh, these are the conditions that will favor that growth. Listen, but when you are projecting, mm -hmm. you have to show the underlying factors that will enable the projection. You know, I don't. For, I just said to you that the CDC will dissect the Hallelujah budget mm -hmm. in detail. Okay. But I'm just even what he read. Mm -hmm. he, his the the, the, the the new budget's uh, uh, czar, the new uh, uh, finance czar, mm -hmm. is referring to all the things that happened in 2023. That this uh, he's assuming. All that happened in 2022 will happen in 2024. It will happen in 2025. But that is why that's the, but, but economists do. No, 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 no. You have to, if you look at, at, at what Twelve wrote 
when he was giving a budget Sunday, he cited the specifics. Mm. He said there will be growth in mining. Okay. There will be growth in agriculture. Okay, so, so you so you, so you want to show, be specific you have about to, a particular uh, area. Otherwise, mm. it's a hallelujah budget. I mean, you, you, you imagining, you guessing, or you waiting for God to tell you what will happen. But, apparently, but in, 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 as an economist, uh -huh. you have to show the growth areas. And he, he pointed out, he said, Robert, apart from saying agriculture, he mm. was specific. Go back and read the, 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 the notes that were submitted to the previous the previous administration. But for you to just say, oh, what happened in 2023, we assume it will happen again. There will be factors. Even now, as we speak, in the first, we are almost in the first, the, the first, we are, we are almost completing mm -hmm. the uh, what do you make of this? No, sentence? but let me complete. Yeah, yeah, people, I, I join it. The, he, he, like, no, ho, ho, hold on. <laughs> this is against the backdrop of strong growth of 4.6% experienced in 2023. How? But is that that's what I'm you saying now. Everything he said, that because growth has, was experienced in 2023, mm -hmm. and he, he, no, he's assuming and this that is it'll the be basis on, of, no, no, no. of listen my to question. Me. No, listen to my question. <sighs> During during the political period, mm -hmm. it was thought that there was no strong economic growth. But at the same people were, were lying so, to the public. Now they are admitting that there was growth. Strong growth. That's a, that not even exact growth, growth, strong growth. Mm -hmm. But at the time, they were they were saying, "Oh, there's no growth. The economy is dying. The economy is is, is scaling." But they, they didn't know what was done. So I'm saying that there were there were there were there were there were such there were ancillary activities that happened that caused the growth to happen. Mm. So you can't come without mentioning those activities and just say, oh, because growth happened on a tour, it will happen on a me. You just said at home, growth happened. Tour said that... I'm not growth, sure no, no, what that means. But let's see. No, but let me, let me, let me read the budget. The, no, let me the no, let's compare what was what was done uh, and what, what tour wrote. Mm. I, have, I, have a, I have a copy. Oh God, Sunday like never ready. It, lost, it, it, lost, it, it will never lost. But, but, no, but, there goes my knowledge. But now you can't find it. I can't find it now yeah. I'm, because I'm going through my phone. I'll get it. Which year budget? 2023. I, the, the, I, I the, think I should have that. The previous budget. No, mm -hmm. the budget notes. He, okay. he cited growth in mining mm -hmm. and growth in agriculture, and then that at, at, as, as the banner. Then he went subsidiary to say that growth in mining will happen because we have harmonized. Some of the minor, there are regulations you have to implement mm -hmm. in, in agriculture. The, the president issued executive orders. President Weir issued some executive orders that boosted our rubber production, our rubber exports. Mm -hmm. So it's not for so for the new uh, uh, Hallelujah budget to say, oh, because President Weir did all the things happening and say it will happen with us too. But government is continuing with this. I mean, it, it continued, but you have to continue with policy. What is the policy, this, the very policy. of this new government? And, well, and so if you have the same policy they wanted to follow, why they were saying that we should leave on power now? Then it should state it in the budget notes that is submitted to 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 Freddy, uh, uh, to, to Thomas Fala. So they should say that we will follow the same so thing that President Weah was doing. Your, your issue is the fact that you, you, you suspect that they, they, they don't want to do it. I suspect. They, they wrote it in our credit. I am scrutinizing what they say they will do. Okay. He said there will be GDP growth. Mm -hmm. What will contribute to the GDP growth? It has not been stated. Uh, it's normal when you are projecting a budget. They say, oh, we assume that because he's doing the ancillary uh, uh, projections, what will cause the growth to happen? Okay. You have not seen it. And when Tua made his budget, mm -hmm. he wrote it there. He said mining okay. and agriculture will drive the growth. And it happened. In okay. the end, which okay. they are recognizing now, they say, oh, finally, they say there was strong growth. You did a strong growth came because people are doing, I will say, it came because the, the minister and his team, along with the president, who okay. issued executive orders, four executive orders on agriculture, executive orders on mining, to trigger new behavior in, 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 in the sector, mm -hmm. new 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 taxes. Attila Metal paid the highest amount of money to the government under President We are there ever before. It's on record because of the policy that was implemented. Okay. So when you are making your budget that we will continue to scrutinize, you can't just say, oh, because it grew on us, we are, it will grow on us. No. We have to make progress. You are not doing the right thing. There is it a whole lot to cover. Yes. I, 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 I don't, it will not we grow. Need, yeah, because we need to come have, to your uh, CDC, but, but before we come there, mm -hmm. um, um, 
King oh, John. The budget is more important than, than talking about CDC. No, no, I, I don't know. I'm uh, talk, uh, talking about CDC. Sixty-seven so, 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 million. The other sixty-seven million to pay. Yeah, yeah, we will, we will, we will, we will handle that. Now, once the, if I, what they are doing, they are reducing. Let's take it to King John. Under this new budget, civil servant pay will be reduced. The same people that are condemning the harmonization. You know that. Well, yeah, no, no, we, 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 we don't know. Uh, okay, okay well, now I'll let, tell us, you, let us take write it down. Write it down. Before your government left power, mm -hmm. you 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 extended uh, the the the, uh, uh, com the 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 company's working time in our country. There were issues. The, the citizens have always had issues, even under your government. Mm -hmm. You ignored those issues. No, 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 no. Oh, hold on, sir. You ignored those issues. You gave me chance you to answer. You extended their time. Yeah. Okay. Now. A new government came to power, and all of those issues, those those unanswered <laughs> questions, from your time crystallized, causing Look quite a situation that led the police Look at to, to kill some people in that place. But, what but do you say? Jesus do don't do that. Firstly, it wasn't President Weir who brought B Mountain into Liberia. If you look at who signed the B Mountain concession, mm -hmm. the MDA, the Mineral Development Agreement. Because if you see President we have signature on it, eh? You tell him to go oh he said he won't hope. He never signed anything connecting to B Mountain prior to he taking office as president. Now, who brought B Mountain into Liberia? Who was the previous government? Who was the vice president? You ratified. Wait, no, it was ratified. You made some amendments with your <laughs> no amendment, but let's talk about what was ratified first before mm -hmm. we go to what was amended mm -hmm. or not what was uh, uh, ratified by former president Salif and current president Bwakai they ratified B Mountain agreement what the president will do when he came he reviewed the agreement he appointed Archie Bernard and a few other persons to look at the agreement and say what can we do to improve it mm -hmm. because when you have an MDA you can't just squash it MDA is a law passed by the legislature when president we took office he asked for a review and what did the review do the road from the Bamagida highway to King John that was paved who made it to be paved president we school state of the art school that he dedicated who made it to happen president we mm -hmm. who made the pay to increase President Weir. So we met up, President Weir met up a bad agreement and improve it. I'm saying, because I could say other things, but I'm saying things that you can go and touch. See the road, ask your journalist, when was the road constructed? The school, when was it built? They pay for the workers, when did it go up? So he met a bad agreement and made it a good agreement. So, 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 so. listen, uh -huh. and then the people went and move, which is natural. Obvious, he went and met with them and said, Look, list some of your issues you have, which they did, and were engaging them, even during the elections. It ended. But when the, the people of King John saw the same people that suffered and no road, no school, no hospital, no clinic, that why they got vest. So, why they didn't they demonstrate when President Weir was president if they were angry with him? And under our government, when people demonstrate, we don't shoot them. Okay. So, people need to ask questions. Why is it that when these same people that have been demonstrating forever demonstrated, we had all of this loss of life? And today I, I called somebody at the MRC and made an appointment to speak to the, the political officer. I asked for an a, a appointment. You know what? Because I saw a, a, a text or a, a post from the U.S. Embassy. Mm -hmm. You know what the post said? They congratulated the, the Minister of of foreign, foreign affairs, affairs. Mm -hmm. this is that. I said I want to ask the American embassy when people die in King John, why didn't I see your post? Why didn't they post? Forget it, whether it was we are the cause, but I got the cause, they did not post. But when an incident happened in the past, they commented. But the, and, the embassy can choose when to when to post. And but I, I can choose issues. I can choose when to ask them when to post too. Okay. So I, I need to ask. Because the, 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 the United States government is very powerful. Mm -hmm. What they say, what they do, what they comment. What are you suspecting? In, I'm not suspecting anything. When well, I finish asking, if they allow me to meet, which I've asked, so I'm saying it publicly. Mm -hmm. If they don't allow me to meet, I will come back on one radio station yeah. and say that when when you 
want to be to, because they are influential in Liberia's politics. Mm -hmm. When people die in King George, did you say anything? No. You think that? But well, somebody, somebody say, oh, all passport cancel. We are even, you know, another, you know, comment that shows that people don't even know what they're doing. Then you say, oh yeah, it's good. So are you suspecting that the embassy? I'm not suspecting. I'm holding them to what they have done. Why have you not commented about people dying in King George? They commented before. So to you, they've been they've been selective in how they deal with the different. I will movement. confront them. I'm confronting them by speaking today. Okay. So they they have a rule. Either you speak or you keep, you shut up forever. The worst but case, don't speak selectively. The worst case scenario. You and, and I asked for a meeting with the political officer because I'm going to say to her mm -hmm. when there was an incident in King George way back, so people died. You made a huge post. People have died. Police shot people who were demonstrating. You made no comment, but you only can comment because somebody say they, they, they banned you. Listen, for me, I carry no passport nowhere. All the passport I got, I got it legally. Nobody can illegally take what I acquired legally. If she wants the passport, she must go to court and show that I, Eugene Len Nangwe, got a passport illegally. So all I think, I, I, I'm beginning to wonder whether these people even have the rudimentary experience to run agencies. Look at the guy at CSA. The first day he took over, I know him very well. He writes well. He's a, he's a brother mm -hmm. who is articulate, who I think, you know, has some capacity in some areas. But the first job they gave you, you know what he said? Oh, I came to CSA. I have me no money in the account. It shows a lack of comprehension of the rudimentary running of government. CSA is not a, a, a storage of government money. When CSA won't pay the employee, they send it to finance. When CSA want to do operation, finance minister give it. So they don't, it's not a repository of money. So for you to come and say, oh, I only made, I don't know how much dollars in the account. That's how it's supposed to be. To even mention it, when you are taking over, I thought you were going to say what he would do about civil servants. Okay. As but they promised. He, he said they are moving to pay people twice a month. But, but, That's what but, he wants to do. But any money not to pay twice a month since they took over. You the journalist, tell me. The budget is yet to be submitted. And oh, but, but then why he said it? So the Lala talk. Twice a month. The finance minister issued, he knew, the finance minister knew there was no budget. He issued uh, 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 a memorandum mm -hmm. and said by the 15. All contributors should submit. No, he said they'll pay by the 15. Anybody in Antibia by 15? A liar, man. Eh? So, what we're saying is that, for me, I, I mentioned the US embassy because. What the American embassy says has an impact on our politics. Okay. If they want democracy, they have to choose what they say, want to say, and to be balanced. And to be balanced. I'm, not, I'm not afraid of them. And I asked for a meeting with the political officer to reiterate this position. People dying in Kinjo, and you're talking about one woman, Joma, and say, oh, I'll tell everybody passport. Legally, what I acquire legally cannot be taken from me illegally. The worst case scenario, so, you're not giving a chance to meet the political officer. What do you do? <laughs> hey, man. I will be given a chance. I'm, I have to. I'm a positive person. Okay. But if I'm not given a chance, mm -hmm. they, they are hearing me. They listen to everything you say. They listen to a radio station. They record it. So they finish hearing it. Okay. If they want me with me. They finish hearing it. They will write a report. Send it to to state department. It's a I mean, they will send it there. So don't worry. Why are you going? I'm to using your platform to communicate with them. Okay. The 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 meeting is the formality. But they finish hearing what I'm saying. So they know. My point is, mm -hmm. the the U.S. government. America is a powerful country. And I've said it before mm. to the, the charge. I said, you're a powerful country. So whatever you say, whatever you do, has an impact on our politics. Mm -hmm. Don't wake up one day and say, oh, you support it. Yes, we all support for us to have clean passport. But the minister made a general uh, comment. I have a legitimate passport. I will not take it back. Until she can go to court and show that I got a passport illegally, then I give it back. Okay. Yeah, I saw Zoga carry a passport, but I'm not. I got uh, a diplomatic passport. The minister got to show that I acquired the passport illegally. Then I will get back to her. Okay. And then they can grab me, hang on me, and put me in jail. But as a former minister, a former official of government, mm -hmm. the entitlement I have, I know it. Even the the the, 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 the new regu the, the regulation that she canceled, the old regulation, 2016, there's a way to cancel regulation for a regulation, administrative regulation to be legal. It has to be signed by our president. So let the new president sign a new regulation and say that the old regulation is not working. 
This is why the people are in court. There's a way to run government. You can't wake up one money and say, oh, all passport cancel. My passport is not canceled. I will use it when I need to use it. And I challenge anybody from Ministry of Foreign Affairs to try and take it because I got it legally. The, the 2016 regulations she talk about also entitles former minister to have passport. So what are you talking about? Okay. Who, so those people who, if, for me, if there are people who acquire passport illegally, arrest them. But for you to generalize and blemish and think everybody because you think you want to face passport problem, uh, it's unacceptable to some of us. Okay. You it's, know what I mean? She, she really know her work. It's, it's, it's to say that everybody that gets passport bring it back. Every, she said all passports. When you say all, oh, I mean her own passport, she didn't give it back. She didn't go nowhere to. That includes former President Wee as well. It also includes the, the, the current president. He said former president, include President Baka. Her passport, he must bring it back because she said all. That were they, issued they, under that new regulation. No, no, no. She, they, they, the thing, but I'm going read the thing, man. She said all passports <laughs> well, must no, brought no, back. No, no, no. That, 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 there is, <laughs> there is a condition there. Uh, no, 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 no. I no, have no. it. I have it. So yeah. we, we need to clear that out before yeah, we come so to the, it. It, First, let me ask you one question. Is the new regulation illegal? How do we do regulations in Liberia? Regulation is promulgated by our minister, which Minister Kimia did, and was approved by the president at the time. Okay. So it's legal. For you to try to undo what was legally done, you have to no, do the undoing legally. Okay, let's just Simple. read this for the sake of the public. Uh, due to national security concerns, the government of Liberia, through its Ministry of Foreign Affairs, hereby suspends with immediate effect the July 2023 revised passport regulations, reinstates the March 2016 uh, passport regulations. All those very diplomatic official and service passports with duration of more than two years mm -hmm. are hereby requested to return them to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs commencing Tuesday, March 19, 2024 with an end date of this exercise being April 18, 2024. All Liberian citizens and non Liberians who are not eligible for diplomatic official and service passports should currently return the passports to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs regardless of duration of validity people. <laughs> These passports will be cancelled with immediate effect. All those with, with multiple diplomatic official and service passports are hereby informed that those extra passports will be cancelled with immediate effect. Should you have questions or if you have information that justifies you having multiple diplomatic official and service passports, kindly um, contact the legal department of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Okay. So, so I mean, judging from what, what Judas just read, uh -huh. you could just walk over to the Ministry of Foreign Me? Affairs. Me? Who the, who are you talking about? You, 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 you. you. Forwarding. Uh, every passport that I have, uh -huh. I acquired legally. Okay. Maybe she's talking about the people who got it illegally. I okay. got it legally and I will not return any passport that I got legally. Okay. If she okay. wants to withdraw a passport that was issued legally, she got to use a legal process. And the other thing she said, 2016. Okay, so the past two years, so President Baka, when he got his passport, we don't know. You uh -huh, don't. But I, uh, uh, all the people he she named, are they not entitled to official passports? Are they not? You know, so, let me tell you the problem so, so, that we're so, having. Let so me tell you the they, situation that we're having. Did uh, President Baka acquire official passport no. after the July 2023 uh, regulation? I have to assume he did. I okay. have to assume and, and, and because so, he has one. So but if, for me, it's not, it's not my interest. Mm -hmm. I know that I acquire passports in my official capacity. Even if you read, the, you know, sometimes I, I want a journalist to do a little bit more. This 2016 regulation, do you know it says that all former ministers should have diplomatic passport? So what are you saying now? So for somebody like me, why can't you the passport back for? Because the, 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 the regulation you refer to also says I say, should still have it. You know, so sometimes people need to issue a press releases properly. So okay. as a sign of protest, I'm not carrying any passport back, and I will use it. And, according to and if they stop me mm -hmm. illegally, I'll go to court. The same way, all of these people who were removed from the positions uh, uh, that had tenure, and you saw what the Supreme Court did, they put prohibition on all of the appointments, what do you want and they are still working. Why do you want to go through all the because, all the, all because the of have, because we, we, we just walk to the to, to, to the foreign ministry and and, 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 and I, some I, things out? No, I, I I can walk to your studio and say that what the people are doing I mean they, they don't even understand the rudiments of government. That for you to cancel a regulation, you need another regulation to cancel the previous regulation. Okay. She has a right okay. to cancel any regulation that came here instituted. Let me give you an example. All of those that were appointed, they say from July 
2023, mm -hmm. they, they, they're not paying them, they're not dealing with them. It's also wrong because until January 22nd, 12 o'clock, when President we are handed over, he had the authority to appoint anybody. That's why our law says. Mm -hmm. So when you come as a new minister and you stop those who are appointed, and there's precedence for this. There's precedence. Ethel Davis, if our president, we are denied appoint any ambassador after the elections. But between the time the elections were held in 2017 and the time he took over, do you know that five ambassadors were appointed? Actually, Richard Williams were appointed by Ellen. After the elections in 2017, go and research mm -hmm. to Morocco. Ethel Davis were appointed to South Africa. After the election, after President we had won the election, but before he was inaugurated, she was appointed. Two persons uh, uh, in Japan, there was an appointment, uh, I think it was uh, uh, Blamo Nelson, I'm not 100% sure of that. There was also an appointment of, 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 of the, 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 what, the fellow who died in Egypt. A uh, uh, silly, he was appointed after the, the elections. So if, if President Weir exercised his own authority to appoint junior people who were trained by the foreign service, in under the foreign service, trained, appointed, and commissioned, and then you say, oh, the people got to come back. That's a procedure. Okay. okay. No, that's a procedure. No, we have to state these things. Okay. Now, because I, people are presenting that. Oh, the president. So I've named, I can name five or six persons that were appointed by Ellen. After 2017 election, okay. the president will come and say, because the president exercised of constitutional power, everybody should come back. No, he respected the law. Let's okay, go, now, let, 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 he respected the law. Let's go to your CDC. Now. People, no, 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 before we go to CDC, no, I want no, to talk no, about no. the president's security business. No, we will. No, we will. No, we will. 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 We what, what's happening with the party headquarters? Let us start from there, then we'll come to a former the president. We are security. Headquarters. But let me ask you one question. <laughs> Citizen are not irresponsible like UP. How? But we are not an irresponsible party. Since 2005, mm -hmm. CDC ever had issue with party headquarters? And I think they were. There were times you went to court on, on, on uh -huh. several years. But two members of a family making issue. But we are there. Wherever we have to pay rent, we pay the rent. Wherever the court rule, we follow it. Even when we were in government, mm -hmm. we did not use the power of the state to take anybody's property. We did not use it. Because people say, oh, you are in power, you're in the... But the matter was in court. The property was not being sold. We can't buy why it's not being sold. We're waiting for the legal process to reach to, and, uh, you know, to somewhere. Mm -hmm. So we are in conversation with the owner so for how long are you going to continue renting? What would I thought that you will, you, you will go to find a big we'll piece we'll of land? We've been we'll trying to buy. We're in uh, the land of phone. I want to be there. Brother. You, you, uh, buy, you, 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 you buy the phone. report, the phone for anyone. And then you yeah, but I want to be our headquarters. So we're talking to everybody. We want to be there right there. The headquarters, what we want. It's our aspiration. It's our first step. Well, so we're having conversation with the lawyers, with the owners, and yeah. everybody. We will continue to have a conversation, okay. and when they agree for us to pay, we we'll buy the place. I, I, I know, I know, I know. We're gonna go to, to the. We're having conversation with that. Yeah, and, and there, there was an issue of possible. <laughs> Even though we know the UP, the UP, but the only party that ever evicted from the, in the country as a ruling party was UP. That's it. Is it? And you we're said you, you stand chance of being evicted. <laughs> Yeah, chance off, but those who are evicted, you ain't asking that question. No. The UB chairman was yelling all day. You ever asking why they were evicted? If I want the CDC want to do, we won't buy the place on Broad Street. We won't buy it to make it our most rather headquarters. Which one? Which place? Where UB headquarters is? No, but 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 uh, they won't even come. They they won't buy it. No, but because it's a they are, they are political machinations. We've been there. We have respected the 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 the, the, the law. Respect the court. Mm -hmm. Respect the owner. Mm -hmm. Because there was an issue. Amongst family, okay. The Bernard family, uh, Mr. Dempster. I spoke to Mr. Dempster many times. You know, the court said he owns the place, and we have to, 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 to pay him and work with him. We recognize that. Okay. We're not, we're not a gangster party. So unlike the UB that stay owing the McLean family for the place they were living, okay. We unlike them, we deal with the owner 
and we negotiate with him and want to buy the place. Okay. That's our position. So you're not saying CDC headquarters are Okay, but we have not used power wrongly to take over somebody's property. We recognize what the court has said and okay. we are negotiating with the owners. But what we want to make our mozzarella headquarters a UP headquarters up Brussels, we have engaged the people already. And I just wanted to know, we're not, we're not, we're not. You've engaged the people. The owners who want to buy the place. So you people could go back, you know, and. and, and <laughs> but they'll be working, they'll focus on that one, then they'll move on the more on CDC business. Okay. But, the, you know, for me, we, we used to play football. <laughs> the best, the best offense, the best defense is offense. So we start attacking all the property, what they're they renting. Because our party that being in power for 12 years. Later on, they go 12 years for how many months? They stay renting. Then they want to talk to somebody who's been there in opposition, CDC was in opposition for 12 years in the place. Okay. Is that an irresponsible group? Let's go, let, let, let's, well, let's go to other So we want, we want a UP headquarters mm -hmm. and we, we will pay for it and then let them go find different places to go. There's, there's a possibility of disintegration in your party. There was a meeting Never. here at the weekend. Some of the parties that supported you are contemplating withdrawing from the CDC. That will make you not be a coalition anymore, but just the Congress as it was before. Uh, these are troubling times for you. Uh, the PLPs, the the the, the different MPP. parties. Yes, the the, the you spoke MPP. You spoke to the MPP Senator Joel. Well, different people, including the LPDP. No, you spoke to Joel. See the head of MPP. No, we don't have to speak. Speak with her. But she directly. she stay with us. The party is with our chairman. Oh, but the Senator Barrow not important. And all of these people are having meetings. Uh -huh. We continue to engage them. The CDC is a democratic party. If anybody that joined the CDC democratically decides to leave democratically, what can we do? But maybe people are not understanding the, 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 the strength, the foundational strength of the CDC is not in people with big leadership titles like myself and all of them. It's in those who are at the grassroots and they remain constant. So we are not worried, we are not panicked. We continue to engage our, 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 in fact, we are reaching out to new, 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 new parties okay. to expand the coalition, okay. like, to expand it. Like the CPP, the, the, the collaborating political parties, we also, Alexander Yes, we reach out to everybody. In fact, I spoke to somebody from Lionel today. What is the status? We're not, we're not, we're not joking. They, we want to want a coalition of the opposition because already, uh -huh. in a few months, uh -huh. the, the unity party have disappointed. Even some of the people in the unity party alliance, we're trying to bring them over. So as they're trying to take people from us, we've taken people from them. All the police disappointed. They're talking to us every day. How do you respond to the situation of... <laughs> no, but let's finish. Why are you like to me for me to finish? You brought it to a living party business. I said, people in the United Party Alliance, mm -hmm. who they promised things and they're not doing, uh -huh. they're talking to us. And we're bringing on board because President we are former President Weir has said, you are gonna forgive me now because mm -hmm. I don't know where I used to call him. So, so, former President Weir has said that the CDC is a big umbrella. So you, you we're bringing everybody on board. You want us to think you want us to believe that they are leaving a ruling party to go to you, the opposition party. <laughs> but the ruling party they both it's super jobs that didn't get it, they both vest. So they'll come to us. So they'll get a job from you. We but every time we promise people what, what we will do, we do it. So they will listen to us more. And we're not promising job, we're promising the betterment of the Liberian people, which is what we expect politicians to ultimately want. Okay. Uh -huh. So you 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 are well, there's even no devil. You're celebrating people yeah. wanting to cross over to your institution. How do you respond to the situation of your chairman resigning? Uh, chairman Molu has been with the party for the entire duration. He of, stayed with the party. I mean, as as chairman of the party for the yeah. entire six years. Yeah. He resigned. He's today one of uh, the newest. You know how many chairmen CDC now have before? I'm talking about chairman. Kind of, no, but let's start from because if you say it's a it's an issue, mm -hmm. they gotta look at the history. Okay. From the funding chair, you know, from from Sylvester Maduna went to 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 Jeredin Do Sherry, Co Bangalore, to to the chair you know, CDC is not in shortage of chairpersons. Our hard chair person that, that are available. It's not about being so you see how quickly it's not about the, party, it's the party's it's executive committee reconsolidated and appointed Janga Ko. So it shows who that is you, very it, capable. It shows, it, shows, it shows that you got no no no. Way. It shows like the president said uh -huh. in his in his statement uh -huh. that the CDC is a party that can evolve for the better. So it's an evolution. Janga Ko has taken over from Molu, who we honor Molu because he served very well, very productive. Oh, you honor him? Yes. Okay. I have been one of the proponents of that. I will have to honor Molo and show him gratitude for what he has done for our party. But people come. Our secretary general of CDC and I left. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. 
and the, so Secretary General Benin were, were finished. So we always have strong men and women to take over the mantle of authority. Right now we are reconsolidating, mm -hmm. we are reinvigorating our party, mm -hmm. and the CDC will remain strong. The standard bearer. Are you is, talking to Prince Johnson too? He, he has been speaking to some people in the CDC. For yeah, what? Not me personally. Oh, oh, but he's a political person, so he has conversations. You know? is he You'll a, be surprised. Is he but why, you, why, why are you not asking me what are we speaking to people in the UP? They're always speaking to UP. The chairman, all of them, we're talking to them too. But yeah, yeah you, can, you, you can have any talk. But, uh -huh, but why you want to be specific about Prince John? No, because uh, uh, what are he has been expressing some regrets. Uh, all, the, all the expression Prince Johnson has been making has been public. Okay. So he ain't mm -hmm. got no private expression. He has been making public statements that we've been following. He's a senator, a political leader, and he has been making public statements. How open will your arms so be? You need to ask the question to the UP people whether he's disappointed because they won't appoint him, not us. What, what, what would be your, 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 your response were you to receive, uh, I mean, an elect from Senator Johnson mm -hmm. wanting to return to base? What are you well, going to do? No, but, but he has never been on base. I will return to Sonny. Uh, I mean, he, he also viewed... No, of, but... No, I, I know him... I know, he, he, no, I know him very well. If he calls me, I'll answer the phone. <laughs> but, you know, for CDC, we don't make decisions by individual basis. If there is a desire by any political party, MDR or anybody want to have conversation with us, mm -hmm. we are open to conversations. But there are, there are, there are guidelines that we have of how to engage, and we we'll follow those guidelines, okay. engage with anybody that want to engage with the CDC. Okay. If, okay. Even the UP, UP leadership or the UP alliance, people that this want to, they want to come to us, we we'll find a way to open our arms on our, 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 our guidelines to receive them. Okay, so, so be, be, before we go to what Julius, you know, I mean, it is, it is also similar. Mm -hmm. Upon your return from Italy, mm -hmm. you know, Ghana and so forth, the president was denied access to a More than that, sir. <laughs> you know the question I come and ask? <laughs> okay, I, I apologize. Okay. Oh, so, so, you're too hot. <laughs> yeah. But so, I can't be cool. So, uh. <laughs> the former president, you know, upon upon returning from the street, was in our access to the, the VIP launch at the airport, something that his administration built. How did the, pres the, the former president receive that news? Okay, firstly, Maybe I interrupted you, but I apologize for that. But I wanted to say, when I say more than that, mm -hmm. because there, there was a serious situation that happened. It was not about utilizing the presidential lounge. Wow. Firstly, when we, before we left Accra, because the government of Ghana mm -hmm. always, even after he left office, allowed the president to use their presidential lounge. Mm -hmm. So we took off from the Jubilee lounge, which is the presidential lounge. Wow. Yes. They have always given that courtesy to him, and they gave it to him on that day. So before we departed from Accra, mm -hmm. the president's protocol, Fina Bono, called me and said, oh, the protocol in Morovia, the EM protocol say that, you know, we have to call the marshal, you know, about where the president will land. I said, but why are you saying this? He said, oh, because the pilot wanted to know. I spoke to the pilot. He said, look, when, before we take off, we want to know where we will, what they call, what is called final resting place of the aircraft. Mm -hmm. they, they have a checklist. So I said, okay, talk to the people, you know, it will be the, the presidential lounge. We got in the plane, before the plane could take off, she said, the people still saying, you know, they need to know, and then the pilot said, well, I need to complete my checklist. Those who know aviation, mm -hmm. before you take off, any plane, they got to show you why, you're, let me make it simple, why you pack the plane. Mm -hmm. We he was calling the people who were, were and I said, but well, let me take charge of this. I called the Minister of State, Grace Bay. Mm -hmm. I said, you know, I, I got a nickname for him. I said, veteran. What's up? He said, hey, veteran. I said, but well, former president, we are on his way to Liberia, and we want to know whether you avail the presidential launch. He said, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no, I'm a, a veteran. It's not, it's not an issue. Okay. So we told the pilot. Put it in, on his checklist. We took off like about 35 minutes to landing. You know, on the plane because you know, sometimes I want to go to you private jet. The, your phone can be working. You know. Yeah, she yeah, said, yeah. All the people call me from Liberia, they say they, they lack the place, they, they will they will lack the place. I said, Let me talk to the protocol officer. She said, Oh, you need to call the marshal before we can. We're already in the air. 
before we can say where uh, so the pilot I, I spoke to the the one of the 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 the, the what's the word the staff mm -hmm. quickly we got to take our break to to, to, to be no, right before back. the break I got everybody here why I can't take break you know, go, no, go, go ahead I got ahead. Finished finish the thing because of the meeting I have been and yeah. everybody saying it differently yeah so give me a couple of minutes so right after no. this we'll take our break you know, okay then, then you continue okay mm -hmm. so the one of the the the, the staff on the plane mm -hmm. said that we need to you know they got to tell us what is going to happen I said but call the tower because we're like 35 minutes away from Lenny. He said, I'm not getting it. I call Minister Grace Bay again. He said, oh, no, Virgin, don't worry, y'all land to the place. Y'all land, y'all go to the other man park the plane. Y'all use the VIP launch. Minister Grace Bay, I have a copy of the call logs. They got a coin. He answered. One way in the air, the pilot couldn't get. So I told the pilot, listen, for me, it was so dangerous. So I, I considered and I spoke to the, the, the crew. And say consider the the, the, the the option of landing in Sierra Leone or we'll go back to Accra. He said, Oh, let me try again. He called the, 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 the tower, answer him, and said, Look, when you, you can land safely, then we'll decide where your final parking position will be. I say, Pilot, let's call. I took the phone. I told President Wayne, I said, Let me call President Mara Bio to call his people so they can allow us to land in Sierra Leone. Because it was like based on the procedural things. Mm -hmm. We couldn't really land in Liberia. While we were in the air, this thing was not happening while we were on the ground. So it was not about using the place. He said, oh, talk to the pilot again. The pilot said, okay, I got them. They said, I can land safely. When we land, they will decide where the final parking place will be. I said, do you want to do that? He said, yes. It's not a safety issue, but it's a procedural violation. Mm -hmm. But we land, and then we make notation and file it to the CAA. Which is the normal? I'm not a pilot. Mm -hmm. I don't know how it works, but okay. I, he said he said that. Now, so we co we strongly consider the option of taking president we have to land in Sierra Leone because we, of the lack of cooperation and the 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 the, the last affair attitude. We in the air, and you can't even talk to the, the pilot. You're not talking to nobody. I said, I, it's just like the president, the former president, is somebody who like you know. I told him as a chief. Now go back to Accra. As the pilot said, we got enough, the, the, the other crew member, to go back to Accra. She said, yes. Can we go to Sierra Leone if we allow? Ain't no damn, it got to be emergency landing because we didn't. Ain't no plan to land there. Okay. The, 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 the professionals at the airport, the tower, they say, no, land, then we handle the procedural issues. I said, can we land safely? He said, yes. So we land there. When we land there, he stopped. I went and told him to stop. They say, oh, I saw the boat calling, calling, calling. He moved to the second place. They had luck with a boat, the, the, the presidential launch. So for me, you know, and I told President Wea, I said, for me, this was a danger to your life. Because it's not normal that while you're in the air, the place you're supposed to stop, the people say, oh, don't stop there. But he said, look, I don't, next time, I will stop to the regular place that all the bring and pass through the regular launch. I don't need all of this. Mm -hmm. And we left. Okay. So that is the fact. We gotta take. We gotta, we, yes. We, we take gotta, a break. We gotta take this break. But we gotta break. talk about it because it's a critical issue. We, we gotta take a break to be yes. right back. For me, I saw it uh -huh. as, as an assassination attempt. For well, me, that, that is, he said no. That is too dangerous. Uh -huh. But but if, like, if, if you are you are on the ground, I was in the plane, and then we couldn't listen because a plane cannot land when they don't give you the necessary permissions and so on. He said, "Oh no, this is a procedural issue." But any procedure, why in the air? I can't make you learn for me. It's a it's, it's it's a serious threat. Okay, we took a break to have words from our sponsor, Crime Stoppers Liberia. Let's do this. We'll be right back in a minute. Okay, Crime Stoppers Liberia is the official sponsor of this platform and all other radio programs here on 87.9. Sam Sion is, of course, the chief executive director. Now, mm. so you saw that as an assassination attempt. Yeah, me. That, I didn't that, say the that, president, that, but, that, that's how you but saw I, it. I, yes. 
And because of that, I uh, call Sierra Leone with all the permission of former president we are to see, because I was on the plane, I don't want that. Get plenty to get wife, get family. I said, Chief, let land in Sierra Leone, later on we sort it out. Then the pilot said, I can land safely, in spite of the procedural, procedural breach. Those were his words. Because he kept saying, what's going on, what's going on? Because he was sitting at a position and the, the, the crew came back to where Finna and I was sitting, okay. along with Kalasco. And I want, it was, it's noted in, by the, L, the, the, the LCAA, because the pilot made a report. So we're not, we're not lying. So for, for people to say, oh, why the, 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 the VIP launch, you know, the, the presidential launch, <coughs> we use the presidential launch in Accra to leave Accra. <coughs> and then we land in Liberia. They were there, they show us where the plane should park. So they have two there. They, they, that, that, but that, let me ask you one question. That when, new one is exclusively for the president. And let the me ask you a question. Else. Before we had a new one, when there was one, didn't the former president use it? Didn't the former vice president, who is president now, use it? They were very petty, classless, hmm. and sophomoric. Hmm. But it was also dangerous because. I know, as a former minister of transport, I used to go to AKO meetings and see, uh, uh, I, I witnessed an aircraft, an aircraft uh, 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 investigation when the Guinean plane crashed. I was a minister of transport then. The small, small checklist. But the pilot said, he said that we can learn safely. It's a procedural issue, not a safety issue. I will not lie. Hmm. To say the pilot said it was dangerous, he said, no, no, no. It's not, we can. Once we learn, we decide where to be the final rest. As okay. they call it aviation authority. But for me, uh, I wanted to utilize the option of landing in another country because he was not receiving the whatever procedural uh, uh, response he should have gotten. Okay. okay. So, now, so because of that, this is why I said, in my view, mm -hmm. it was an attempt to assassinate him because if the man is in the air already, I spoke to Grace Bay 40 minutes or 35 minutes before we could land. And he said, no problem. Yes. And then when I call him back, he, he wasn't as, when I call him, I heard people talking in the back. Okay. And, I, I, and, and I'm saying it because there's a there's a record of the of the conversation. When you call somebody, the record is there. Okay. okay. You know, I, he, the Minister of State, I, Fina called the protocol. Mm -hmm. I called the Minister of State to say we are already flying. We we'll gather the boat that they do. What's so much? That the president has to be he, he we, we flew. Okay, so okay, you say only for a president, a presidential launch, and you saw Fadu Griver passing there. They're trying to be petty. That's what you used? Yes. Oh. The, the, my, my, my friend, the Ibrahim, Ibra, Ibrahim Mahama, mm -hmm. I play here and you want to But a former president, and then maybe we need to talk about the security situation. That is where, where we are where, going now. Yeah. Now, you go so, there, you show. So, so, yeah, 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 because you have to go to CDC instead so of going to the real issue. No, no, but, but, and, yeah, uh, I, 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 I surprised are you. Why, why are you surprised? Yeah, yeah, I'm asking the question. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, I have claims about the security of uh, former President We are Well, this is the government's response. Mm -hmm. I want to read fully, then we'll but, give you time to respond to that. Fully, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah we'll okay. we, we, we give, we give you a chance. <laughs> this is what the current information minister, Gerald Pia, said. In 2017, the head of the Executive Protection Service recommended to President Sirleaf when the transitional act was being worked on to include in that act as to how our former leaders are protected. The transitional act did not go through. So there is no law compelling government to protect former presidents. Notwithstanding, it is a common sense that we do something to protect our former leaders. When President Sully became former president in 2018, the government assigned 15 EPS officers and eight of the EPS officers walked away on their own. Former Vice President Walker had 12 EPS officers assigned, three were withdrawn by the government. Currently, the EPS assigned 15 EPS officers to former president. We are, he rejected eight of the officers on grounds that he does not know them. But he also made a request that he needs 38 officers to be assigned to him. Mm -hmm. The director of the EPS has indicated to me the service will not assign the 38 officers to former President Weir. The assignment of EPS officers to in individuals is at the discretion of the President of Liberia. That is why the Presidential Transitional Act is important to specify protection of former presidents. What do you say to all of these bold claims? The, 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 you know, the, la, the, the, the second or the last sentence mm -hmm. that Pierre said that the EPS director indicated to him 
he just need to change the indicator to lie. The EPS director lied to, yeah, mm -hmm. if they spoke. <laughs> he need to change indicator to the EPS director lied to me. What is the truth? The truth is that uh -huh. when pre up to the time he turned over, former president, we had 34 EPS assigned to him as president. He turned over power and the same day he left the country. 34, not even 38. At no time did we request for 31, 32, 33, 34, 38. No time. Now, as generally for me, if Pierre or uh, Sam Gay says that the president requested how, he wrote a letter, he texted them, he called them. How? You ask them the hard questions. It's a blinking lie. Now, I, I told President Weir last month, as a chief, let all the EPS people go. Let hire private security to be with you, open your gate. It's not true that President Weir ever asked for 30, 20, 30, or even 25 EPS. When the, 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 this very EPS came back and sent one of the agents to, to the agents that we had. Mm. They said, oh, we reduce your heart 35, 34 before, we make it 25. They mentioned the 25 that Koji talked about. Now us, we never made any request for any number to them. Okay. Are you sure of this? Oh, but no, they need to be sure because they said the president requested 38. Mm -hmm. Let us show how he requested it. President Weir have now the last conversation that President Weir and President Braga spoke when President Weir made a call to say congratulations. Okay. Senator Dinto, he made a last call to Braga. He had never spoken to Sam Gay. He had never spoken to anybody in the security apparatus until the day before yesterday. He talked to somebody who, Charles, who introduced himself as the acting deputy. Because he called the city, he got the government car. Now, I will get to that. Yeah. They, we are now asked for 38, 34, 30, whatever. When President, up to the time President we left office, there were 34 EPS assigned to him as president. And then he turned over, got in a plane, and left. They came by and said, oh, we reduce that 34 to 25. We said, okay. Mm -hmm. They made their own list, they brought, they, they didn't take any action. After a while, they came back and said, no, it will be 15. So we said, all right. They brought eight person. They said 15 old. Eight persons. Out of the eight, six of the persons they brought said they were. I said, I asked two of them, I said, where is age? The other man said he 53. All of them were out of retirement age or not. I said, but why are you on? <laughs> I called uh, 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 some members of the government because the person was very helpful. I won't call anybody, go sag them because they're very vindictive. He said, oh, let me talk to Sam Gay. I, I called another person, I said, but let me meet with Sam. Let me ask him what's going on. We, he, according to the person, he agreed to the meeting, but we never met. Now, long story short, we say about your 38 person from here. Let me tell you something about security. The former president is also a political leader of the CDC. You can't just grab anybody and bring them. Access, city, uh, EPS, got access to your bedroom, your bathroom, your everywhere in your house. He said, look, let's, some of those who are with me that have been working, can we, you're included in your 15. Can we have some of them? They say no. The next day, they arrested. First thing they disarmed all right now. President, we ain't got no armed security for EPS. All of them were disarmed. Second, the chief security of the president, Sewer Briggs, he was arrested and detained at the police station. Why? Listen, why you say I'm gonna explain? Mm -hmm. The man wrote his thing. If you want to give me time, I get ready to. He called me like four hours into his detention. I said, Eugene, the poor po po called me and said, I got one EPS car. I don't have it. I said, you have it? He said, no, I don't have it. I called the investigator. He said, oh, the man has been brought here by the EPS that he got EPS car. I said, talk to them, explain to them. They said, oh, he said, but the car that I was using is parked at the mansion. They detained him for 13 hours. I called a uh, uh, Safwa Gray. I said, go there because you're a lawyer. And Akaras, Sava say, okay, let's go. She hired another lawyer. They went. For the lawyer to even sign for Seward, it took another four hours. But to be fair to the police, in the end, they allowed the lawyer to sign for him. In the end, they found the car now with him, a vehicle, of EPS vehicle that they accused him of disarming. Right now, he's being disarmed. 
They call him again and said uh, he they will call his son. All the EPS go and sign with President We are. They reduce their salary by 60%. They call and say, I say, uh, y'all going to No, but listen now, uh, but y'all think, we are the president, we are president, we are, I told president we are when was in Accra. I said, chief, let all the EPS people go. let hire private security. President, we are a man of peace. Nobody looking for him, okay? What we need all these people for? If they want to assign people to come in your room, that you don't know that you have, there has to be some some uh, 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 camaraderie with you and your security. Hmm. In fact, there's a security, one person assigned with Clark. I don't want to call any before they go punish these people. The man, was, she normally walks. He said, oh, my, uh, 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 we are, they say I should leave you. Why they were in, in the, no letter, just a call. So she called me, I said, well, what you do? Let me speak to whomever call you. They say, well, let him be there, but every day, you have to come sign and come back. But then, by the time you reach, the man ain't get vulnerable before I say car. By the time he reach there, then it means she's vulnerable. I said, what we do? Let's hire security. So, yes, okay, judge speaks his way. But I have advised President Weir that if this matter is not resolved between mm -hmm. now to the end of the month, mm -hmm. we ask that they withdraw all the EPS and seditions, the Liberian people will protect him. If he needs protection, he's a man of peace. People came, people here, they passing around. They ain't nobody touch him. He's a peaceful person. He doesn't really need all these people. They don't have arms. Um, vehicles. Hmm. Now one EPS vehicle is assigned with President Weir. So all the people are assigned, whether it will be on the running behind while he's driving. The cars he rides now was bought by him. After he lost the election, I told, I said, Chief, get your own car. Because I anticipated all of these things that these people are doing. Very petty. So, okay, you say 15%. What is 15% they send? The EPS director said he won't see sewer bricks. He won't. All the people he knows, they say, okay, he said, but I'll tell the people, we can ask them to resign from the service and be with him. But you can't hear every day they are brought people three different times, different, different people we know. They go in the main house. You think we, 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 we have to play? It better he has no security. So all that propaganda they're doing. You know why the people are talking all these things? Oh, the president won't tell the security this, that. Because the core issues, they want to avoid it. The gas price going up, it will go up. The country since twenty since January no budget. You are you are since, you are, no, 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 you, are no. you are also talking about no way vehicle that, issues about the former president. But there's no vehicle. They had there was a vehicle assigned with the EPS assigned with him. They withdrew it. So if the EPS with him, whether they so, be so the way he gave former president sir leave two cars. I think two cars to to President Barker also Baca including a bulletproof car. If I the bulletproof car that he personally gave to them, they call one day and say, oh, they say you got one of the bulletproof car. Same gay call and say I lend your guy one motor boy, a bike. He called it. He called the 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 the, the EPS assigned with the president. He said, "Oh, the president get back. If I bring that back, I will see." I told him, "Mr. President, this is the man that is in charge of your security. He talking about it for motor boy, you still motor boy. You know what bike you are talking about? Bike that the president bought in Germany. The other day, one of them, one of the ministers called the first lady directly hmm. and said, "Oh." I lend you riding government car, I will need it. Wow. She was riding a Mercedes Benz that I usually never bought in Germany for the for a German government auction and brought. She was in a Mercedes, they said that government car. What's wrong? What, what kind of people this? You think President Weir won't use the, the cars? They're very petty. So, 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 they, so the current government hasn't given car the way he no, did? No, right, okay. they, they, they get it for the set, for the get it. What's wrong with you? Then got it. So he, he he has vehicles, two vehicles that he uses, plus another one for security. That all of them were bought by him. Okay. But in spite of that, mm -hmm. they are still going further and further and further. They brought some people to him. Oh, these are the people. I said, we said no. He's not jammed for security. So all those. And, and for me, I'm taking it back. Some journalists, PR goes on and say the, the minister of the, the EPS director told him, if I was the minister of information, I say show me evidence. That this people request made this request. They can't even show you your test message, anything. The yeah. other one said that Fina made a request. Show me the letter that Fina wrote, or the call she made to you, or whatever. How did she do it? There was no request made, and I challenged them to show one letter of request. The only 34 persons was the list that the EPS, the very EPS, has for those who was with, who were with Mr. President mm. at the time. Mm -hmm. 
up to the time he left, they were 34. Now even 38. He requests from the hotel. Why he doing all the people okay. to come? They didn't even get a car for him to for them to run. We 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 run. And, and then they, they focus on it, but no no, don't run. Because we, we, we you know what I'm saying? We even want when above six. I, I think I tell him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but you know, you see, as an organizer, but CDC headquarters want a real issue. We ain't even talking. Oh, but can you give me two minutes? They want to talking right now. Yeah, okay. talk it, talk it. Can you yeah, let me finish? Yeah. Okay. Give you two minutes within. They 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 disarm all the EPS that were him. All of them. Did they, they give any reason why? Oh, but we need to ask him. It's within the purview of the EPS director. He did that. So between now okay. to the end of the month, mm -hmm. if this issue is not resolved, we ask all the EPS to leave President Weah. In 2018. And listen, no, I mean, let me tell you what will happen. I want to be you. clear. That's a before, before 2018, uh -huh. all of the, we ask if it's not resolved between now to the end of March, uh -huh. the president is now a killer. He's now he's a man of peace. He needs security. When he needs security, the Labrador people will protect him. Seditions will protect him. But what's that? You grab anybody who brings him or go in the mail room. Is that how people, people work? And PR say there's no law. But say no law, you take the people. We need law. But there was no law. And, 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 and current President Barker, who was vice president, had 18 persons with him. Did we you, have record of that. Did, there was no law. law. <laughs> but I say 18. So, but go ask him, Sonny, I can show you the tour. You see, he said 18. Whatever the number is. I say, no, but the number is important. Okay. So, so it's important because he had all the security with him and the, the former president because he didn't have any car gave him two vehicles ran cruisers and say use it for your security and walk to your brand new the all, last all, all used brand new with you know what can say with plastic on it so the the, the, the security officers that were sent to so why why we, we you think we worry about security so the security officers the, that pre, were the former president now worry about security okay he is protected and he needs additional protection his partisans and the people of Liberia will protect him up to March 30th. Did, if, if it's not resolved, did, 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 with, it, they, they, with, with Sam Gay, if uh -huh. he doesn't resolve it, uh -huh. and I know him very well, he's my friend. You know, but he has been, look at the post on Facebook. You don't want supposed to protect people, protect them. You have, they say there's no law, but <clears throat> PR need to read the EPS Act, what it says about who should be protected. He needs to read it. I understand he's from America, I know the school and all that thing here. He was just told anything. But he needed to read too before he talked. He said, Oh, same gay told me. Same gay indicated. He did not indicate he lied to you. Okay. Because it's not the truth. The pre former president, we are not, not he nor any of his 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 his, his, uh, his uh, uh, employees okay. ever, including Fina, ever wrote anybody or asked anybody for. 31, 32 before 38 security. It's a blinging lie. Okay. And if they don't fix this thing between now and tell them, we let all the EPS will go home. Those who want to remain with us, they will resign and they will stay with us. Okay. He's not, he's not, he's not, you know, because I don't even think they have the capacity to even protect him, the current EPS. Okay. Before we go to the lines quickly, uh, the current government is encountering a lot of difficulties with the issue of power. Where did you leave LEC? I mean, we barely have current in our homes. But you use as you, you, you current were there, we left it there. Because they blame you for because, not for not for not settling the ground, you know. I mean, but, adequately, and, but, and that's what they're. But and I want to kind of rescue. The, when President Weah took office, we inherited a huge debt. I think it was around eleven million. I'm not sure the number. Two has it. I mm -hmm. can text him right now. He will reply me. Mm -hmm. I think it was. Uh, but we pay upfront nine million dollars, and then we pay money for. Between CLSG and, 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 and WAP, the West African Power Pool, mm -hmm. we pay around that amount. And then the president made additional payments, President Weah, for the conclusion of the CLSG uh, 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 line uh, uh, deployment. Mm -hmm. So we have options. Now, when people say during the campaign, I remember what I said, we Curry comes to Liberia and we expose Curry. That's the, the concept of the CLSG, that when we have high load, the in rainy season, mm -hmm. the current that we're not using, the line automatically, or based on whatever technical reason, they send some to Arigos, so that it reduces our debt. Mm -hmm. When they have, when we have low load, same thing. Okay. I have unconfirmed information that President Barra, when he met President Water, because when President Weah took over, the same thing. We went to Abidjan, he spoke to President Ouattara, they waved 
around nine million mm -hmm. that were owing to Cote d'Ivoire. Okay. Wave, mm -hmm. say you don't pay. Mm -hmm. You pay going forward. President, we are, I don't know, but then they came out here, our president, they asked me, what are they waving with? We don't know. Okay. So that what the current, you need to ask them. You don't ask us. We're not in power. These people said they were coming to face everything. They were going to rescue. We're gone many days. We have not seen any. They don't. But now, those communities were paved. But president, we are intervening in the communities. But now, we have fix the situation at the University of Liberia. But they've dedicated no, one, no. they've dedicated one, 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 one high, no, high that, quality that, security. I don't group. want to tell that, in that, that, you know, because... But that's, mean, a, that's a project. That, that, that Plato did that thing. No, but this is a serious for no, this project. No, Gregory is my, <laughs> is my friend. I've been informed that it's a pilot project that what they want to do country-wide. Mm. What they just do one, they mean, a, out, of, out of, I think they say they want to do 15,000. They don't want you don't mention it. You know, but I'm saying tangible projects when you want to do community and the people are in the mud. After they are taking money from the community to pave the road, they didn't pay the president, we are dead. Okay. But now, by now, we have advanced the University of Liberia students have already been demonstrating about the racial situation. We have solved that problem. Why can't they point to? Why can't they point to? The only the reason you see all of these. Uh, shenanigans and, and, and smoke and mirrors is because the actual bread and butter issues are not being catered to. There's okay. no way. Okay. You know, gas price going up. And then next month, if you go buy gas, if the price almost double, don't respect me. Okay. Rest price will go up. The civil servants, y'all say y'all are going to pay. No, 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 no way. An executive uh, order on a price of rice, and, and it, is, it is anticipated that that will bring the price down. But you, but, Julia, you don't Google, you, you, you don't have Google on your phone. That the the regulation that president we are issued they only change seven words on it you seen one the issue back hmm. go look at it seven words the, the water and sewer regulation they change about six words go read it why you can't call these people feet to the fire <laughs> the same regulation that we issue to fix things they even you know we made it a lot of make government easy for the people because they even change the small set they just move some words they issue the same go read the regulation on Wait. water and sewer and read the one that president we are issued with one of the big difference is the signature Braga signed, the other one we are signing, then they move some words. Okay. We took a break. We'll copy, they copy and paste things ah! for us. Down to the budget. They, 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 they meeting. It is supposed that, to be a project budget. They, they, what a project budget? Yeah, a project based but on a budget. The, only, the, the difference between the budget that person we have submitted and the budget they submitted is 67 million dollars. Difference. Church, uh, 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 core issues, including livelihood issues. How much going to health? How much going to education? Zero. Okay. Most of the money, I think about about sixty percent of that, going to pay the new people they bring in. Where because of pay business within you know poor people, where the president uh, uh, re, 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 what's the word? Refrain from. No, 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 no. The people he is repaying for their political support to him. Okay. When I say the president, I'm not talking about the former president. Mm. The current president is repaying mm -hmm. his political cronies you, you by appointing them to dormant areas. Okay. Those are the people that are going to be paid by the 67 million. It's not going to touch the ordinary appearance. Okay. So they are deflecting from the reality that is coming about, that is happening already, gas price, rice, and all of that, to say that, oh, President, we are one fast security, two security. Why? It means nothing to the people of Liberia. Okay. President, we are going to use the, he shouldn't use the, the VIP loan. If he uses it, he doesn't use it. He will not be in Liberia. But your answer needs to be, you say you're going to pay everybody on the 15. You say you're going to increase the, the pay of civil servants, have you done it? Those are the questions you need to ask them. Okay. So they are deflecting from the hard, cold truth and deflecting on President Weir, President Weir, President Weir. The other man say, oh, I can do civil service and I see money in the account. Did you expect to meet money there when it's a cash-based budget we're running? We're going to take a break. You know, they mean they, 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 there's, there's a total lack of comprehension of the rudiments of, 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 of governance. Okay, we took a break. One minute, we come back, we take a few calls and we go mm -hmm. home. I'll stop all I do is here for you. Remember, you see it, you put it. That's a message from the full set for me. 
A message from Owen Simpson and Crime Stoppers Liberia. Don't take the laws in your own hands. Be law abiding. 086-500-104-0776-104-104 are the numbers to join I the should, conversation. I should announce that we're trying, to, we're making efforts to also speak with the current information minister. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, mean, I, I have messaged him, I try calling. So 086-500-104-776-104-104. Well, let me throw it again, right? Those of, <laughs> those of you from the <laughs> international line, you know, but, but even when it's 2 one Oh. Let's run. You know the strategy. Minister, your, your, <laughs> your, 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 mic, your, your mic is off. Let's go over to the, to the lines and talk to this first person. Go ahead. Go, good evening. <laughs> Quickly, let's hear you. Okay. okay, thank you. You you will protect your own your your, your president, you protect president we are. Let's take yeah. this other person. Yeah. Welcome, boy my Jeffrey Boyman. Yes sir, good day very much. Uh, good day. Thank you very much, uh Julius Jinder and my dear brother Yes. How are you? How are you? I'm fine. Okay. Uh, the chief, the, the computer just laid everything out for the people of Liberia to understand. First of all, they, 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 uh, there is a local call coming in that uh, that, that has, but uh, let, uh, let's just uh, uh, squeeze in this one from the LP DP Eric Pye. Welcome. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh, I just want to weigh in. I good evening, Commissioner. How are you, sir? Yeah, good, 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 good. Commissioner, I'll let me. Uh, Concerning the security of our former president is key this year. And I, I think this is something we have to look into. For a former president to be in the air, he cannot be given permission to where he's going to learn. His life of was at stake. Today you have whether he should have 15, 10, or 20 EPS officers. I don't think these are things we're supposed to be talking about now. Why, why are we treating our former leaders like this? On the issue of the PDP and the rest of the other political parties, I like the way he addressed it, that matter. And the fact that uh, the pres former president wouldn't sit with other political parties to forge their head is, um, is a welcoming call. Thank you so much. Okay. okay. Thanks. Thank you very much. Let's take this uh, international caller. You're from the international line. What's the name? Quickly, let's hear you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Yo. This is Terry Pierre Lyon. I'm Go ahead. Quickly, you're yeah, but a lot of but a lot of things are very concerned about President Weah's life. It's not only President Weah, but our our our, our hierarchy is that we saw how many other people in our our for the same reason were very concerned about our life. There was a complete assassination attempt to win President Weah with Mr. Lamu and Spain. We are very concerned about people, and our very people should be able to say the truth, speak truth to power, speak to the to the, the present government. We support her, and I know the president said it, but the president said that. Okay. Okay, it, it's, it's an autocratic government that will yes, be a dictator. Just another person, quickly. Yeah, you just go straight to the issue, Bama, quickly. Okay. And this is a cause for an alarm. Okay, okay. Let's take this person quickly. One minute, no time. Good evening, brother. Okay. Good evening to our all powerful former Kempicha. And good evening to everyone in the studio. And good evening to Radio Lane Murphy. I'm going to say, Mama, please, I say, and I just want to 
Quickly, no time. So quickly, let me say thank you to the Honorable Honorary Kempit Chairman who have uh, taken his time to deal with the issues. Clearly, you can tell that the brother does not know what they are doing with this country. You look at the Eastern State with the CSA. You look at the Eastern State with the Foreign Affairs. How the Foreign Minister who work in the UN know it very well that there are certain levels of position with within even the United Nations that if on the presidency said Okay, so he, so so he addressed that they were they, they were in error. They were in let, error. Us, let us go to the United Party and speak with Gowin. We are Gowin. Welcome. <laughs> good, good evening, Julius. Why, 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 why you? Why? But why you laughing? Oh, you you put the entire United Party from just Oh, are you not from the United Party? You from the United Party, my man. My man, talk for yourself. Go ahead. Yeah, so Julius, here is the situation. Mm -hmm. uh, when you posted that, you know, the former minister was coming to your show, we were all, you know, care to listen to him. I don't know how the care shift, shifted, you know, now in some way, you know, gone up, you know, oh, oh, conversation. I don't, I, 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 no, 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 what do you mean? No, 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 you cannot be disrespectful to the show. You, you yeah. saw that we went off no, 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 yesterday. No, no, okay, we, it's giving off now. We gotta, we, 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 we gotta let you go. We, we, got, we, we, gotta, we gotta let you go. You lost that privilege. Let's take this question. Go ahead, one minute. Go ahead, sir. Let's hear you. Thank you, thank you. We can take uh, three, yeah, three, more, three more, three more than we go. This one, I think this will be final one from my end. Welcome. Thank you, thank you, Julius. Mm -hmm. Quickly, go ahead. We got enough time, bro. Okay, I'm Satya. I'm Satya. Go ahead, Satya. Hey, Satya. I'm Satya. I'm Satya. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, the first thing for me, the start of governance being produced is something I'm not surprised about. What is more important for me is the safety of our big virus protocol leader. It's good that it's a trusted friend. It's still there. I want to see that as a recommendation. The problem, as I will refer to you, do not wait for the end of this month. The fact that again, the DC brief, who's on that one, means that it does have motives. Let them report, let them all of them back to the like railway. We don't need a security. President has mentioned two days ago. For the day of the pets, all the spread the dance, it has always been common. You got nothing to be worried about. Scared for greatness in our forum. Okay, okay. Oh, okay, let, let, let. Let me let, 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 let the second to the last person. You're the second to the last caller. Go ahead, one minute. Thank you, thank you, guys. Say hi, great day, okay, Julia. We are good. Okay, let me say thank you for the show and listen to my mama say your brother. Like what you were saying is that is true and that the fact will come ready for them. But they're not serious. Those people, they're not serious. If they're not serious, they're not playing for our president. Okay. So as far as the president, my president, that's what I'm saying. That's serious. They're not serious. They're not serious. They're not serious. We leave you, man, Sissy. Man, Sissy, we leave you. We we'll leave you right there. We we'll leave you and take and take the last person, uh, the last caller. Julius, this should be the last caller mm. from from the U.S. Go ahead. Let's hear you. Morning. Mm -hmm. Okay, Australia, go ahead from Australia. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. We are out of time. We are out of time. We have all of the calls to take, but unfortunately, uh, we we can't. Let's go over to you, um, uh, uh, Chairman Nangwe. Yes, yeah, there's, 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 there's one issue I didn't touch, and then I'll close very quickly mm -hmm. because you know somebody said, but why is it that you didn't? I think it was Julius. You didn't 
you try to hold on because you had a tenure. Mm -hmm. that, my decision was personal. There, were, there are others because all of these laws that created tenure in these agencies, none of it, none of those laws signed by President Weir, President Sully, Pres uh, then Vice President Baca, they created tenure for these agencies. Mm -hmm. Now, to try to arbitrarily remove the tenures, it's not a proper way. You know, so I can say, you know, that I'm very pleased with the judiciary because all of those who challenged the illegal appointments went to court and they are receiving relief okay. from, from, from the courts. That's one. And then to close, mm -hmm. I just want to say that President we are is focused on rebuilding our party. You know, should I say, not rebuilding, reconfigurating our leadership, mm -hmm. reinvigorating the party, mm -hmm. and he remains uh, our political leader and standard bearer. You know, you see him on the ballot in 2029. Uh, I, I, I thought he was a bit yeah. trepidatious about what Yeah, but no, no. Him. When people say you should go, somebody, say, you know, people got to listen. Somebody said, Mr. President, you go for third term. He said, no. But 2029 is not a third term. If you listen to the full recording, even though the, the, the propagandists try to distort it, but he remains the leader of the party. We are engaging, he's there every day. And I also want to say that we are engaging with the owners of that property, you know, very honestly. Mm -hmm. And we are prepared to do business with them. We are working with them. We are meeting with the lawyers. I've spoken to the owner. And we'll continue to, to do. But, you know, for us, we're not a party of gangsterism where somebody that the matter in court then we say we take they say well why i didn't take the plane when you were in power that would have been a usurpation of the the rights of somebody else of the use know? of power yeah because so we allow the court process to go on mm -hmm. we try to reach out there were times to pay money and all of that but in the end cdc you know it's not it's not even close to to getting sick let alone die as some people have been writing on social media okay. you know, we remain strong we remain together and we will continue to contribute to the forward movement of this country. But I want to say something finally, that yes, President Weah is a man of peace, but we will not, wherever we, we perceive any attempt to trample upon our rights, we utilize the legal process, and we also utilize our political strength to prevent our rights being trampled upon. Okay. You know, so that's it, but uh, thanks for the opportunity to speak here. Mm -hmm. And we just wanted to clarify all of the lies. You know, he did not ask for 38 persons, 34, nothing. And if the challenge is now on those who accuse him of doing that, and, and, and to provide the evidence, because they, 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 the burden of proof rests upon the upon the, the accuser, okay. and they, have not, they, they cannot do that because it never happened. And then finally, mm -hmm. next time President Weah is leaving the country, we'll use the regular place because we don't want confusion over a VIP lunch okay. and all of that, you know, and, and where the plane should park and all of that. You know, since they want to use it, you know, and be petty and classless and sophomoric, hmm. we we'll allow them their space, he will use a, a regular lounge because <clears throat> I spoke to the Minister of State, not a political officer, and still they lack the place and they didn't allow him. It's, 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 it's unimportant. Okay. What is important is gas price, the exchange rate that is going up, inflation, and all of these things that are claiming that they have to deal with instead of dealing with whether President Weah passes through the VIP launch or not. Okay. And you know, that's, that's the core issue. So they are, they, are, they are deflecting from the core issues that they are feeling on already. And you know, they themselves, they, 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 they aborted their own honeymoon. This is a parting comment. Yeah, they aborted their honeymoon, uh -huh. and because they aborted their honeymoon, they are trying to deflect. From the real issues. Okay. What the price of gas, the price of rice, it keeps claiming. Ask me the price of rice today and check in a month. That'll okay. be a big, big issue because the way we manage things, they've shown gross in incapacity to manage the affairs of the state. Gross incapacity to manage the affairs of the state. Yes or no? You want to be chairman for the CDC? No. <laughs> we got chairman already. <laughs>